Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking to you about standard deviation and the bell curve. So standard deviation is defined as a numerical value used to indicate how widely individuals vary. So basically, how far individual pieces of data are spread out in relation to the mean. A low standard deviation is a value close to zero, indicating the data is close to the mean. And a high standard deviation means the data is more spread out. To find standard deviation, we follow the formula, the square root of variance. The variance of a set of data is the average of the square differences from the mean, which can kind of sound confusing, but let's do a basic example and show you how this works. So if you take a measurement of four friends, the four friends have the heights of 64 inches, 73 inches, 70 inches, and 67 inches. So we want to find the standard deviation. Okay, so first to find the standard deviation, we will need to find the mean. This will help us in finding the variance. So let's start finding the mean. So to find the mean, we just add 64 plus 73 plus 70 plus 67. And then that equals 274. So now we take 274 and we divide by 4, since there are 4 friends that we have measured the height of. And that equals 68.5, which is our mean. After we find the average, we take each value from the table, 64, 73, 70, and 67, and subtract the mean from each of those values. And so once we subtract the mean from each of those values, we square those results and we add them all together. So when you do that, you get 45, which is, and then in order to get the variance, you have to find the average of this. So you divide 45 by 4, which equals 11.25, which is equal to the variance. So since the variance is 11.25, the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 11.25, which, when we plug that in, is about equal to, let's make that better, 3.3541. Now we're going to talk about normal distribution, but it's also known as a bell curve. And so let's show you a simple rule that helps me remember how the standard deviation works on a bell curve. So it's known as the 68, 95, and 99.7% rule. And so um, what you have to remember is that 68% of your observations or your data fall within one standard deviation. 95 of the observations or data fall within two standard deviations, and 99.7 fall within three standard deviations. And that will make more sense once you see what a bell curve actually looks like. So this is a picture of a bell curve, and the, you can see that it's split up into different sections. So the blue section that you see right here that I've shaded out is the 68% of uh, your data that you collect, because the black line in the middle is the mean, which is the average of your values. And so um, the 68% is split between what's above and what's below the, the mean. And then, this whole red section, including the 68%, makes up 95% of what you've collected from, I don't know, a survey or some other data that you've collected. And the green section fills up 99.7%. And the little yellow areas out here, they make up the remaining 3%. 0.3%, I should say, of your data, which is a very small percentage, but sometimes people don't know exactly um, the, the exact amount of their data and what the 0.3% is, depending on what you're uh, doing the center deviation of. So let's show you an example of a bell curve so you can see how this works um, when you have actual data. So the example is a college statistics class took their semester final. The scores of the test are evenly distributed approximately with a mean score of 85 and a standard deviation of 10. Find out 
what percentage of the students scored 85, what percentage of the score below 65, and what percentage scored over 115. So here I have set up the bell curve, and so you have in the middle your mean, which is 85, and then you go out at standard deviations. The blue line is your first standard deviation. Your red line is your second standard deviation, and your green line is your third standard deviation, and then the rest is the remaining 0.3% on the very ends. And so, um, since the standard deviation of the test scores were 10, each standard deviation, depending on which side of the mean you're on, either goes up by 10 or down by 10. So on the right side, each standard deviation goes up by 10, and on the left side, it goes down by 10, with 85 being that. So let's figure out part A first, which is the easier of the three problems. It says, what percentage of the students scored over 85? So if we look back at the graph, you can see that this is somewhat easier because 85 is the exact center. It's the mean of all the test values. So all you have to remember is that since it's in the middle, 50% of the test scores are above and 50% of the test scores are below 85. And so, since they want to know which test scores, what percent of the test scores are above 85, you can say approximately 85%, no, not 85%, 50% score over 85. So part B asks for the percentage of students that scored below 65%. So 65 is right here. And so if we fill in this area, we know that 65 is all the students who scored below 65 are below this area right here. So to find that, you need to understand what standard deviation you are in. So what you do is that you know that this area is 68%, and then including this area, it's 95%. Now this is where it can get a little tricky, because now you have these two parts of the standard deviation of the 99.7%, and you have to find out that area on this side plus this area to figure out how much, how, well, rather, how many students, the percentage of the students who scored below 65. And so that can be a little bit hard since it's not just one of these giant sections. So what we can do is we can start with subtracting 99.7, subtract 95 from that. And that gives you 4.7. So we know that these two areas have 4.7% of, of the data. But since we're only looking for the amount over here in this area, we will divide 4.7 by 2. And that gives us... 2.35. So now we have 2.35, but that only accounts for this part of the percentage. We still need to figure out this area. Well, we take, well, what we first do, that's not right, we take 100, we minus 99.7% from this. So that gives us 0.3, which we know is the total amount of these two areas of the normal curve. But since we only carry, care about this area of it, we divide 0.3 by 2, which then gives us 0.15. So we add 2.35 plus 0.15, and that equals 2.5. And that is our answer. 2.5% of the class scored below 65. And for part C, We've basically figured this out in Part B, but just to review, in Part B, they want to know, or in Part C, they want to know what percentage scored over 115. So you look over in this area, 
over. So this is 115, and this is the area of kids who scored over this. And so you know that in both these areas, the combined total is 0.3%. So since we only care about what is in this part, we just do 0.3 divided by 2, and that equals 0.15%. So thanks for watching this video and good luck with standard deviation.